Now that we've learned about mole ratio in the previous screencast, we're going to take a look at some more complicated problems. Before we get started with that, let's review the mole. Recall the mole roadmap, which we see here. Remember that everything has to convert back to mole. So one mole equals 22.4 liters of a gas at STP. One mole equals the molar mass of a substance in grams. And one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd representative particles. We're going to be using these conversion factors again in this unit. Remember to calculate the molar mass, you have to look at the subscripts of the materials that you're given, and then you have to multiply them by the atomic mass from the periodic table. We'll look at a sample problem. Our steps for solving mass mass problems is to go from the grams of what we're given to the moles of what we're given. The next step is to use the mole ratio, which is the moles of what we're given to the moles of what we're looking for, or our unknown. Finally, we convert from the moles of our unknown to the grams of our unknown. Let's take a look at how we use these steps to solve a problem. If you start with 10 grams of lithium hydroxide, how many grams of lithium bromide can be produced? And we're given the balanced equation below. Because we're dealing with grams, the first thing I want to do is find the molar mass of both lithium hydroxide and lithium bromide. For lithium hydroxide, I have one lithium, so I'm going to take one times the mass of lithium, which is 6.9, and I get 6.9. I have one oxygen, so I take one times the atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16. One times 16 is 16, and I also have one hydrogen, so I take one times the atomic mass of hydrogen, which is one, and I get one. When I add 6.9, 16, and one, I get a mass of 23.9. I'm going to go through the same steps to calculate the molar mass of lithium bromide. In lithium bromide, there's one lithium. One times 6.9 is 6.9. There's also one bromine. One times the atomic mass of bromine, which is 79.9, is just 79.9. When I add those two numbers, I get a mass of 86.8 grams. I'm going to use these two numbers to solve my problem. If I look back at my problem, I see that I'm given 10 grams of lithium hydroxide to start with, and I'm asked, asked to find grams of lithium bromide. So as I write out my problem, I'm going to write how many grams of lithium bromide can be found in 10 grams of lithium hydroxide. I put what I'm given over 1. Notice that for my unit, I'm including not just grams or moles, but I'm also including the formula, lithium bromide, and then grams of lithium hydroxide. It's really important to keep track of your formulas when you're doing these problems so you don't get lost. Now, I need grams of lithium hydroxide to cancel. So in my next fraction, I'm going to put that unit on the bottom. Based on what I did in the previous slide, I know that 23.9 grams of lithium hydroxide is equal to one mole. So I'll put my 23.9 on the bottom and one mole of lithium hydroxide on the top. Again, notice my formula is present in both units and it's the same. I haven't yet changed my formula. I can only do that with my mole ratio. I cancel out grams of lithium hydroxide and I'm left with moles of lithium hydroxide. And that's what I need to cancel next. So in my next fraction, moles of lithium hydroxide will go on the bottom. Remember, this is the step where I'm using my mole ratio. So this is where I want to convert from the moles of what I was given to the moles of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for lithium bromide. I find my numbers by going back to my balanced equation. Lithium hydroxide has no coefficient, so that means I write a 1. Likewise, lithium bromide has no coefficient. So again, I write a 1 for that. Moles of lithium hydroxide cancels, and now I'm left with the unit moles of lithium bromide. Remember, I'm looking for grams of lithium bromide, so I need to have another step. Since I want moles of lithium bromide to cancel, that will go on the bottom of my next fraction. From my previous slide, I know that one mole of lithium bromide is equal to 86.8 grams of lithium bromide. Moles of lithium bromide cancel, 
And now I go through and solve my problem. In your calculator, you need to enter 10 times 1 divided by 23.9 times 1 divided by 1 times 86.8 divided by 1. And you should get 36.3 grams of lithium bromide. Here are two practice problems that I would like for you to add at the end of your notes. Number one, if you start with 45 grams of ethylene, which is C2H4, how many grams of carbon dioxide can be produced? The equation is given below, but it's not balanced, so make sure that you balance the equation first. Check your answer with Mrs. Benke if you're not sure if your balancing is correct before you solve the problem. Number two, if you start with 5.5 grams of sodium fluoride, how many grams of magnesium fluoride will be produced? Again, you're given the equation, but this time I've balanced it for you. Please include both the answers to these problems and show all of your work at the end of your notes, and then submit your notes either digitally on Schoology or give your handwritten notes to Mrs. Benke.